It is going to be lit, litty, committee, gym, gang, gang, gang. Man, you gotta loosen up. I give my heart to you. Never switch up on you. Girl, that's my only rule. Man, you gotta loosen up. I'm giving you all time. I'm looking you right in your eyes. Girl, you blow my mind. Hey, gems, and welcome back to May Chronicles. So, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how I make my wigs. I need a dawn cap, of course, so I went and bought one from the beauty supply store. You need bundles in a frontal or bundles in a closure. If you want to do a U-part, you can do a bundle in a U-part dome cap or whatever. So I'm using the mesh instead of the spandex this time, and I actually really love the mesh caps compared to the spandex. So I fold the frontal in half. I mark it with the white pro. I don't know what, it's like a makeup liner but it's white i use that to know exactly where the middle is and i use the dome head to guide me so i can make sure that the white part that i marked up is actually in the middle so i also braid it so i can get the hair out the way because that is so aggravating trying to sew a frontal down and the hair is everywhere so now i'm sewing the hair down if you guys want a detailed video on that let me know put it in the comments below so I'm sewing and then like eventually I take it off the wig tripod because that is just so aggravating and honestly trying to record and make the wig at the same time is really hard so I ended up taking it off but it's actually it comes in handy when I'm not recording I can do it really good on the tripod so y'all make sure you invest in a tripod and an actual dome head because the best way is come out when you get your correct size but as y'all gonna see later, I did get the wrong size first. So be sure to measure your head correctly. Then I cut the extra cap off that's by the frontal because I no longer need that. Put it back on the dome head and then I get my glue gun and start hot gluing it well first I measure it to make sure it's right like I measure it to make sure it's a certain size I know my size now it should be nine from the back and then ten from the frontal to the back so I show you guys the bundles I got two 24s a 22 and a 20 inch body wave I can't remember if this is Malaysian, but I'll have it in the description box below. As y'all see, this hair is from Sinosher. I don't know if I'm saying the name right, but the hair is like cute or whatever. So I start hot gluing. You're eventually going to see me like, oh my God, I really forgot to put the plastic bag on the wig head because my other wig head is really dirty because I've bleached it. I've dyed hair on it. I've done a lot of stuff on the other wig head, so... I want to protect this wig head so it can look cute if I take pictures of my wigs, even though I usually don't because I don't really care to make wigs like that. But if I ever decide to, I want to have a cute wig head, so you got to put the plastic bag on there if you care about the way your wig head looks because it will get dirty and you can't get it out. So I began gluing the tracks again and as you guys will see I'll be picking like the glue off because I don't like the excessive glue. By the next time y'all see it, I'm already finished because I'm like, sis, it's a lot to record and try to do it all good. Honey, sis, these bundles are so freaking small. The left one is a 24, the right one is a 20. 
it's like picking up really big but based on how much i've done so far on the wig with only one bundle these bundles are really really small i didn't really realize it until i started making the wig but compared to other i wish i had a like i wish i had other bundles to show you guys but i've already done the other wig so i can't really show you guys but if you know how bundles are supposed to look these bundles are really really small although the bundles are small i did have enough hair like i was left over with probably like two or three inches of hair so that's better than not having enough hair at all i just wanted to say that because i did say the bundles were small but i was still able to make a full wig then i stopped liking the quality of the hair because i'm like bruh i had made a wig a little bit earlier than this and i was like I don't really like this no more but after I bleached it and all that stuff it got cute again like it was really good but while it was this color it was kind of nappy in my opinion which is kind of crazy because like when you bleach hair you would think that that's when it started messing up but I don't know maybe because I used like three different conditioners and shampoos to get it right I get it right get it tight so now y'all finna see me and put the last track where the frontal and the actual bundles meet but I lay that one going the same direction as the frontal so that the hair can blend a little bit better and the frontal won't be too noticeable. Y'all gonna see me take the dome head off the tripod again because I'm like, bro, okay, y'all know what I'm doing. I just literally cannot be in front of the camera while I'm trying to get my wig right and I want it to look good. So therefore, I'm gonna have to take it off and do it to what's comfortable while y'all can still see it. Because of course, that's the whole purpose of the video. Anyway, so after that, after I finished sewing it down, I'm like, cannot use my good wig head. I got to use the old one. And as y'all can see, that one is like so freaking big. But that's what we thought my head was. When I measured my head incorrectly, it said it was that size. So I got that size. Then I realized that was the wrong size. So yeah. Okay, so when you bleaching hair, you know you need some aluminum foil if you want it to go quick. If you don't want it to take forever in a freaking day. So I wanted to do a lot of blonde in the front, so I got a really big patch of the frontal and bleached it blonde. And it's going to come out really, really blonde. So we get all that, we do that in oh whatever. Now y'all are looking at the finished product. Oh my God, I think I did so good. Y'all know I don't really do wigs like that. I don't really care to do the, well, I love color, but I just don't like the process of doing color. So I would rather have 613 hair and just dye it that way because that is so much easier. But I think it came out cute with it. Um, I didn't straighten it in the first video. I just blow dried it and that's how it looked. And then the next video, I actually curled it and it looks really good. I don't think I would straighten this hair because it looks, it feels like it's going to take too long. Maybe one day. But as of right now, I doubt it because I don't even know when I'm going to wear this wig. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. I will see y'all in the next video. If you have any wig video tutorial requests, let me know. I will try my best to do them. So yeah, I'm out of here.